Okay, here's the application video of of a first derivative problem. This one is going from going from a position function to a velocity function. So he, here's our little vignette. Here's our little guy here. This is Pinguino, and Pinguino seems to have fallen off of this cliff, which is 32 feet up, and he's heading towards the water, which is 32 feet from here. And it says, at time equals zero, our penguin falls off a cliff that is 32 feet above the icy water. The position of our penguin is given by, and this is the position function right here. Right, so here's our position function right here. This is position, so this is our position function. So our position function where t is measured in seconds and s is measured in feet. And the first part of our question is just an algebra question here, isn't it? And that question is this. The question asks us, when does does the poor little penguin hit the water? Well, we know his position at any time. His position is S of T. His position is negative 16 T squared plus 16 T plus 32. And uh, just so you know, this is a vertical motion formula, not something that I made up. <clears throat> and what we want to know is when he hits the water, then his height will equal zero. We're going to say that's zero. And then we're just going to do some algebra two here. And if you don't mind, I'm going to factor out greatest common factor here is negative 16, so I'm going to take out negative 16, right? It's the greatest common factor, and it gives us t squared minus t minus 2. That's still set to 0. We can factor this some more. We can factor it a little bit more, and we have negative 16. We get t minus 2 times t plus 1 is equal to 0. Check that math, please. T times T is T squared uh, is T is negative 2T. Add them together, you get negative T, don't you? And negative 2 times 1 is this, isn't it? So here are two solutions. The Pinguino has a, at a height of 0 at T equals negative 1 and T equals 2. And I guess my question is, which one of these is possible? This is time. Time can't be negative. So here we have T here. So... Pinguino hits the ground. Two seconds after the fall. Yeah? Then we go to here, and this is what becomes really important because this is going to be the application of, of this function is what is the velocity, and what we have to know here is that S of t is position. And what we have to come to the conclusion of is that his instantaneous rate of change is S prime at t, and that's his velocity. In his, so this is his velocity. So velocity equals S prime at t, and S prime at t, right, if S of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 6, whoops, plus 16t plus 32, then, that, then the derivative of that is this, isn't it? Is equal to negative 32t plus 16. We also know that his impact, he impacts the ground two seconds after his fall, right? That's this. So we have negative 32 times 2 plus 16 equals negative 48 feet per second. Remember, you guys, his, he's going down. That's why the negative, because he's falling. Okay? So there's that. Is there a third question? The third question is, what did he have for lunch? I don't care. That's hilarious to me.